So I know you've been into that kind of shit, like Alexander the Great. Yeah. And all the all the, the different Ferris conquerors, and all these guys, yeah. Pippin, Charlemagne, Clovis. Now is this stuff that you just studied because you wanted to study conquerors? Does it just interest you? I wanted to, to study that mindset. You know, and um, I found that the greatest conquerors that ever lived um, were farmers. You know, farmers, sheep herders. Somebody that we weren't think that's important and stuff. And then as they became great through that, they may have gave birth to great children who were born with greatness like Alexander the Great and stuff. Like Philip the Macedonian, that whole bloodline of Alexander, they were all kings, but they were all very small and insignificant. Until um, it was always one Alexander before him that was pretty great and fought against the Persians, but eventually they lost and they pretty much kissed the Persians' ass. You know what I mean? The Persians put them in a position of power until um, Philip of Philip Macedonia came, who had the nickname, aka Philip the Barbarian. Mm. And he wanted to go across there and enslave all the Persians and everybody after that, the world. And Alexander the Great, mother, who was a really interesting woman, um, I'm trying to say Albanian maybe, and they had a different kind of um, study and worship and stuff back then. So he got caught up in that. His family didn't like her for that, but um, she arranged for she arranged for Alexander's father, I think, to be killed. For Alexander to have the power, then her kids had the power. She could lead through her kids while he was on campaigns, right? And um, when he was on these campaigns, now that his father was gone, he just conquered everything. But when he ran into the Afghanian people, he fell in love with them. He wanted to interbreed with them. He wanted to create a new race of Afghan. He just madly fell in love with them. And that's pretty much why his his family is not his family, but the Greeks went, um, what they went, mountain mutiny on him mm -hmm. because they were jealous that they were giving big positions to the. Um, the Persians, no, Afghanistan, he loved them. He even quote, Afghanistan is the most beautiful people in the world. God must have loved them more than anybody. He made them beautiful. He really fell in love with them. When did you start getting really into like conquerors? When you when start I was 15. really- 15. You are 15? Yeah. What, what introduced you to it? Um, I was at the table eating with Cuss and a, a friend of mine named Craig Ward said a statement which he was wrong, but it sounds really good to make me investigate. He said Alexander the Great at his time was like 6'5", so at 6'5", 300 years before Christ, that was a giant, which was wrong. He was very small. The armor was too big for him. He was a really small guy. Mm. He wasn't big at all. And so just that alone, him saying that, got you interested yeah, in Yeah, I wanted him to tell you with the monks, he was a massive guy, but I found that he's just a small man, average guy. You know, he's not a mad monster at all. Not a big man at all. But you got interested in the, the mindset of the conquerors. Yeah. To well, listen, this is what I want to know. Why would one person think that he could fucking own the whole world? One person. Why would he have that mind? Who would think like that? Right. Why would a man person... Why would... That's not a fucking person. That's just something... When your egos just got so out of whack, yeah. where you just you just can't think rational, how do you think like that? And you're a nice person. <laughs> it was a guy before him, a couple of hundred years before him, named Cyrus the Great. He was just like he was a conqueror, but he was a conqueror for liberty. He wanted to conquer all the slaves and let them go, conquer all the slave masters, let them go. He got killed for that too. But can you who the hell? Maybe that sounds that sounds cool too, right? Yeah. That's good. That's a good thing. But listen, think about it. Who the fuck is he to take somebody else's property, take somebody else's stuff because he believes it's wrong, which it probably is wrong. I think right. it's wrong. But who the fuck is he? Right. Who is this guy to take other, just to conquer you? You don't bother nobody, but this is what they did back then. Now you're killing everybody. Back then, it was really legal. It's almost in the Bible. It's in the books. It's not, I won't say it, but it's in books. Slavery It's in the books. It's in the religious books that we need slaves. And he did this. And this guy's going to say, hey, no more slaves. He's 500 B.C., so he's going to say no more slaves. No more. Slavery is wrong out through the whole world. So he wants to conquer the world and free all the slaves. Wow. So that's just a different mindset. Yeah, there are different kinds yeah. of mindsets that yeah. these conquerors have. But who, the, but who, who do you think right. he is? Who the hell is he? 
He has his little town over here. How he's gonna go over the whole world? His town is right here. Well, forget his town. His country is right here. Yeah. You know? And he don't even, he hasn't even conquered his country yet. Now he's gonna conquer the world and liberate freedom, make freedom. What kind of guy? Now that's nothing. If that's not somebody on drugs, you don't, you tell me. <laughs> no, you tell me. Now be right, honest. If that's right, not somebody yeah. high, you tell me. It could be Coke. No, it, nigga, it's something. <laughs> it's right? something. Now yeah. I'm gonna free everybody. Right. This is the no at 500 BC. This is slavery is what it is. This is right. the way of the world. No, I'm gonna free all the slaves. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna free all, like everybody. What What did you get out of like reading about their mindset? Like studying Temujin, studying Alexander the Great. Like what did you get out of reading their about their mindsets? Um. I found out that the greatest ones the best, the most prolific ones were all mama's boys. Really? Yeah, afraid of their mother. Wow. Napoleon, Alexander. You know what I mean? Wow. Genghis Khan too? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you, what do you think that is? Huh? What do you think that's all about? Highly respect their mother. I, mean, I think mm -hmm. their, um, I think their mothers were the first, especially Alexander the Great. I think she was the first stage mother. I think there were some before her too. Mm. You know, because um, Cleopatra was one. Of, that's just what they were at the end of the time. They were, they were wanted to lead through their sons or their ah. daughters or something like that. Oh, okay. Like, like that parent that takes their kids to athletic events and screams and cheers and pumps them up and no they, they no, did, no 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 it's the parent who whose child word is law and i want to be able to have that word mm, okay do you get that yeah my son is the king right of this country or a couple of countries but i want i want i want my thought to be in his mind come out of his mouth do you think the parents convinced the child that they were that special that they should run the world some of them do, but as some kids get older, like Ivan the Great, Ivan the Terrible, they get older and then they realize these people weren't right towards me and, I, and they start killing his sponsors or the people that were rep his step parents mm. and stuff. You know, some of the kings did it too, you know. So when, when you were studying this, when you were coming up as a boxer and you're studying all these conquerors, you were trying to understand their mindsets. Yeah. And you, you were trying to apply that to your own life? Pretty much, yeah. Did you get anything out of it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What did, what did you get? Like, what, how did it apply to your own life? Well, at the end of the day, they all ask God for forgiveness. Mm. All of them. So when you're reading all these books about all these conquerors, when you're a young man and you're on your way to becoming the youngest ever heavyweight champion, and you, you're trying to take on the mindset of the conquerors, and you find out they all ask God for forgiveness. Yes. How did that affect you? That was pretty cool, um, because by that, I learned greatness was the willingness to die. By, you know, um, doing research on these particular individuals, and that's what they were willing to do for greatness. Mm. And you... You know, you heard about Achilles and stuff. Mm -hmm. he, he, what did he want? A, a short life of... Um, of greatness than a, uh, a long life of obscurity. Yeah. So he took the short life. And that's what Alexander did. When you when you study these people and you, uh, you, you, you take that conqueror's mindset, did you get anything out of that? Did you, did you apply that into your own, your own pursuit as, as a champion? Absolutely, because you have to, listen, Alexander the Great was 32 and he conquered the known world. Yeah. In 10 years. And so thinking about that as a as a young man. Absolutely. I want um I want my preeminence to rival the time that you know in the sands of time. It's not rain with it. I think everybody should want that, that are competitive in the art of um what do you say? Immortality. Yeah. And I search for it. That's what he wanted. He wanted he wanted immortality. That's what he wanted. He wanted to be known since the, you know, till the end of time. Did you ever think that maybe you were born in the wrong time? That maybe if you were born in the times of Alexander the Great, you would also be a conqueror? No. I am a conqueror now because I've conquered myself and my demons. Mm. 
You know, not because I'm at that time. I'm never born to. I'm born in the right time. Most of them couldn't conquer their demons. That's why they ask for forgiveness from God, all of them. Because just like um, the gentleman um, that discovered um, 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 Alcoholics Anonymous, you know, yeah. he um, he inspired. Maybe he maybe he had a problem with alcohol at the end. But he, how many people have he inspired? Yeah. That is so much bigger than him succeeding or not with his problem. You know, what's interesting about him is uh, he was interested in LSD. Bill Wilson, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a big thing of his. That's what, that's what instructed him to have the program. Yeah. To develop the program. Yeah. When you're talking about they all would seek forgiveness from God, that's, it's so interesting to me that you turned to cannabis and cannabis will, allowed you to forgive yourself. Yeah, um, listen, the reason why they ask for forgiveness for God, this is why this is interesting that you said that, is because they believe they were God. And they just had to, at the end of the day, realize and check themselves. But they're not. Yeah. They're not God. And yeah. then they've done horrific things. Oh, yeah. At the end of his life, he was so forgiven and giving everything away and so sorry for everything. Wow. He didn't know how to forgive himself either. He didn't know how to... How do you do that when you think you go? How do you forgive yourself? So at the end of the day, he said, look, the man who conquered the world died with nothing in his hand. He gave everything away, had no swords or nothing. Wow. He was so freaked out about dying, being the rich guy and stuff, and having so much property and having the world like he possessed because he had the world. It's this gentleman that he, well, Eugenius, forgot the guy that they named Sloth after. The animal Sloth? Mm -hmm. Eugenius. I, I don't know, but he was like... He's considered a homeless bum nowadays. Today he would be called a bum, a homeless guy, whatever. And Alexander been watching him. This is how keen he is. He's watched this guy for years. And he said, listen, before he became king of Greece, he's watched this guy. This is when he wasn't the king of Greece. And he said, hey, listen, I watch you and I have everything. And I'm unhappy and you don't have nothing. So what, you, what can I do to you to make you happy? You know what he said? You know what he had the balls to say? He said, first of all, you can be kind enough to move out the way of the sun and then allow me to enjoy my day. And he couldn't conceive somebody to turn him down for riches and stuff. He couldn't conceive of it. It just blew his mind. He was so blown away, he couldn't even kill a guy for disrespecting him. He was just <laughs> blown away. He said, this, I have everything. And I didn't realize he wasn't happy. He had it all. He's the king of Greece. He didn't even know where he was getting ready to go. He yeah. didn't even ready to be king of the world. But he's the king of Greece and he's just not happy. And he has everything. So he thinks by conquering the world is going to make him happy. And he did. And he, what happened? He turned into a drunk. Wow. Imagine that. It's crazy. He ran, that's why he, he experienced a new drug. He listened when, um, when you went on a campaign, know what I thought? I thought when you went on a campaign, the movies lie. They say you go on a campaign and just about 300 gladiators or what, 10,000 soldiers. No, they bring their whole family with them. It's like a party. Their <laughs> wives, their kids, their everything. They got the um, surveyors are with them. Um, house builders are with them. The people who deal with um, agriculture for that time. Everything's with them. Wine, even for they can test everything when they conquer. Conquering, you know what conquering is? We think that's glorious. Conquering is glorious. You know why? You know why it is? Conquer is robbing, raping, illegally taking somebody else's goods and enslaving them. That's conquering. That's not good people. All the people we like, we say these guys, this guy, he conquered this, he conquered that. They hurt people. They did it for greed. They didn't do it for we're going to help our people. They did it to take things because they could. Now, when you were coming up as a fighter and you were reading all these things about conquerors, you, you were fueling your mind in that way, and you were also studying a lot of fights. You studied all the old school champions. Yeah. Are you doing that now in this resurgence? Like, are you studying films? No, because I think I know everything about them already. Mm. I, I did the research of them when I was a kid, so I started reading to the, I started going to the other le level. Mm -hmm. So I go from the level of these guys that are fighters, the gladiators, all those guys. So I go to from them to the generals, and from the generals to the gods. <laughs>